Ensenada. We were visiting my mom for a couple nights, three nights, and uh, yeah, now we are headed out to Valle de Guadalupe, which is all where like all the wineries are, um, just south of the Tecate border. And it was about an hour from where we were in Ensenada, so not yeah. a long drive today. But um, we have a nice RV park we're going to. Supposed to be some great restaurants out here. We're not like super into wine, so the wineries aren't that. It's wasted on us. Yeah, it's a little wasted on us, but there's supposed to be some like amazing chefs out here. So we're hoping to have a few good meals. Yeah. Um, everybody loves seeing Granny. <laughs> little pooped out. But yeah, we're just finishing our leg. We're gonna go, we're on the three. So we left in Sonata, which was on the one. We're on the three. We're gonna camp out here for two or three nights and then we're going to keep going on the three to cross the border at Tecate. Yep, yeah, it should Tecate. be easier than crossing at TJ, just a little less more straight forward, less turns and ways to get lost. TJ yeah. can be a little hectic. And Ensenada is like a fifth of the size of TJ and that was like enough chaos for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was, it was definitely much bigger than we are used to. Something Guadalupe RV Park and Ruta del Vino. But anyways, yeah, it's um, it's a cool little RV park. They have full hookups apparently. A dump station somewhere. I think a hot shower. It even uh, said. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's really cool though is they uh, all the proceeds go to a a deaf school, a deaf children's school just down the street. So anytime, any way oh. we can help out, it's good. Look at those cute little oh, bungalows wow. up there. Uh, what do you think? Should we go check in the office first? Let's just have a walk around, maybe. Okay. I think someone um, posted that they came here and no one even came out to collect their money, so they weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> Rancho Sordo Mudo. I don't think winter's the time. Yeah, it's not very popular this time of season, huh? It's but, cold. Yeah, so there's a bunch of looks like poultry sites here, so you could have like pretty big rigs. Um, and it looks like only in the back end ones they have the actual um, sewage line. Yeah, the dump. Okay, so, so we get to decide. Yeah, I think we get our, our pick. <laughs> and then we'll know, see like if no someone comes. Yeah, and... no one's come out yet, so we'll see if they uh, come out to collect their money. We'll see. What do you think? I think it works. It's, uh, it is what it is for 25 bucks a night. Not a bad deal. I think he likes it. We are headed to breakfast and I think to lunch shortly after with Jimmy's mom. So he's driving her car and I'm following him and I haven't driven in a little while. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we're 
we're about to get some breakfast at a very famous breakfast spot and it is insanely busy. Yeah, the drive out here was wild. The amount of wineries and little boutique hotels is insane and they're all so cute. Like the theme is individual houses for rooms or individual like units yeah, and they're absolutely. everywhere. And this road is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> They must pump out a lot of food here. There's a lot of food baby. <laughs> So breakfast was amazing. Probably it's probably the best chili killies I've had in yeah. two and a half months. The whole time. Yeah, all. it's close to the border. We're like literally 45 minutes from the Tecate border. With a sauce, uh, a French sauce called aligo. So it's basically uh, potato, roasted garlic, uh, butter, and uh, chives, uh, green oil. And if we put a little bit of demi glaze, because the demi glaze is half demi and half bashi. So we have French and half Korean. Ooh, all right. Perfect cook. Just beyond medium rare. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was so good. So, um, eating at Merrick um, is a restaurant my mom recommended. She knows the chef personally, and he gave us a personal experience. Um, everything that he recommended was phenomenal. And uh, yeah, it was just really an amazing setting, an amazing food. Um, we had a great time, and uh, can't wait to come back.